Hello YouTube, Murph here here. I've been formatting these old floppy disks at uh, 720 kilobytes single side. Uh, and um, yeah, I want to show you guys some MSX games that I've been putting on these disks. And uh, yeah, let's fire up the old MSX. Okay, let's switch the TV to external game and push the power button on the MSX. And here we have the machine. Okay, I'm gonna try this stack of floppy games, uh, floppy disks, and I've loaded them with some games and uh, I'm gonna grab the footage with this system descaler and let you guys show and let you guys uh, see what I've been uh, enjoying this uh, today okay taking a look at the MSX shoot 'em up games that I actually own or have copied on disk uh, 19 starting out with 1942 originally made by Catcom. Uh, this conversion was made by Zemina and it was been it has been created in 1987. There's also an MSX1 version but this is the enhanced MSX2 version. And just let take a quick look at this. It's a very good game. And it plays pretty fast. There's no music, no background music, which can be pretty annoying. At least the sound can be pretty annoying. Would have loved to have a nice little background uh, song. Actually, the fact that this game features multi -scro uh, smooth scrolling is quite a feat because the MSX actually hardware actually didn't support smooth scrolling. And uh, this is all done in software. Okay, but let's move on to another of my shmups. AE. Um, well, this is a very simple space invader type of game, uh, which does uh, offer some extras. Uh, if you, uh, the, 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 what is it? The time that you depress the fire button actually uh, determines how how high you sh how high you score or shoot. What I like about this game is the way your enemies fly in and out of the screen, which is kind of reminiscent to uh, Gyrus, but it's not that playable actually. Okay, let's move on because I'm not a big fan of this game. Of course, Alest. I've been taking a look at this game before. Compile. Um, one of the best uh, shmup companies, shmup com producing companies. The, uh, the Alest 1 game on the MSX features a great, features a great intro. And uh, it features a great story about destruction, death, aliens, and avenge, avenging the death of your loved one or something. Back in the day, uh, the day I remember being amazed by these graphics. Just, I mean, I was used to Commodore 64 graphics when I was exposed to the MSX2. There was quite a prolific MSX2 user base in the Netherlands, as there was in Brazil, still is actually. Okay, this looks very close to the uh, start screen found on the SNES and on the Sega Master System. Let's let's do a little gameplay because I've shown this game before. 
Also smooth throwing. You have to use a two button joystick in order to maximize the gameplay. Get the power ups. This game is really pushing the MSX2 hardware to the limit. As the device didn't support smooth scrolling. And the machine sometimes suffers a bit when there's a lot of action, a lot of sprites moving around on the screen. Well, this boss is pretty easy when you have a weapon like this. It's dead. Well, I'm gonna stop and show you some other games. Now a game of Alpharoid. It's a uh, it's, um, horizontal shooter uh, where you actually fly this humanoid on a vertical, a horizontal playing field. This is basically what a lot of MSX1 games look like. Single color sprites. But they were sprites. And so it had a a lag up on the uh, ZX Spectrum. But this could have been possible on the ColecoVision, this type of game. As the ColecoVision and the MSX1 standard are very, very close. It's a bit tame, and I can't show you all. But the gameplay is quite varied, and there's quite a nice number of enemies that come your way. Let's move on to one of my other schmups. Okay, Androgynous. <laughs> um, androgen is Greek for being somewhere in between males and females. Um, it's, it's a weird schmup. Um, you are a robot avatar, and you, uh, you you have to destroy enemies while descending into this pit. Um, it is a smooth scrolling vertical screen, uh, and your robot fires horizontally, and the enemies approach you <laughs> from all sorts of directions, which is kind of weird, and you have power-ups. I mean, it could easily have been a, sh uh, a compile shmup, somewhat reminiscent of uh, Xenon 2. Very nice organic graphics. I think this was created by Telenet, I'm not sure. I mean, the music is pretty okay. And thanks to these rotating orbs, you don't die instantly, but it's kind of tough. There's... Ah, the further you get into the game, the more enemies are approaching you. Without these orbs, the game is a lot more difficult. Like you can see, you die quickly. So. Hold on to your orbs, I say. Let's move on to another game. Okay, Beamrider is the other game I have, uh, a shmup game I have on the uh, MSX. Actually, this uh, game is identical to the uh, ColecoVision Beamrider that I showed in another video, so perhaps it's better to just move on and show you another shmup. It's, it's very much the same. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay, moving on to Bosconian, created by Nemco. And uh, yeah, what can I tell you about this? It's a multi-directional shoot, shoot 'em up. And uh, <laughs> I think my grabbing card has some issues here.
My, uh, <laughs> my grabbing card, video grabbing card, doesn't like the, the way the screen is updated and it scrolls, but it's a very cool multi-directional shot. Let's, m I mean, the screen, uh, the, yeah, <laughs> I have to look at another game. Choplifter. Well, Verdebunt, and it's a great game. Flying back to the base. Give him a flash. Oh. A shmup or an adventure game. Craze. Sadly, this all is in Japanese. There's no English translation, so it's kind of tough to know what you have to do. Fly around this maze, collecting stuff. It's looking very nice. Don't have any weapons now, so hi there. Uh, well, this concludes for now the MSX uh, shmup videos. Whoa. Um, I wonder if I should continue to show all the shmups I have in this fashion, like very short, just a brief explanation of the game or that I should go more in depth. Um, personally I just want to browse through them but uh, yeah if you guys have requests or you know if you want to see a specific uh, MSX shooter perhaps I have it and I can show it, show more of the gameplay uh, but yeah uh, this is just me testing out the 15 minute feature of uh, the YouTube, uh, new YouTube video length and uh, yeah, I have, have to do something, right? I mean, I'm like, yeah, okay, well, Mark signing off. <laughs> I really need to start picking up the room because it's a mess. Oh, there's this parcel that, uh, that arrived when I was not home on Friday. I think it's from John. Uh, they're gonna swing by on Monday and uh, yeah, I hope I'm home <laughs> otherwise I might have to go pick it up somewhere um, anyways Mark signing off okay more MSX games coming your way let's go check them out Danger X4 it's also a shmup it's supposed to be a bit like Defender and it's released by ASCII in 1984. Like that. Am I supposed to kill those or? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let me see. If sure if I'm supposed to. I guess so because they look like the flying bits. Okay. 
let's move on. Exa Innova, made by Sunny. And it's a vertical shoe mop. I like the graphic. It's a bit Beam Rider ash. The sounds are very, very annoying. Okay, let's move on to another one. Axurion. Axurion supposed to be a shoot em up. Let's go see. Okay. Kind of Buck Rogers versus Galactions or something. Whoops, okay. There's even a sequel to this game. Exerion 2! <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Very different indeed. Whoops. Okay, let's move on. Famical Parodic by Bit 2. This is supposed to be some sort of parody on other sh shooters and uh, let's see if this works okay let's see so I guess this is this is a, a clone or a parody on on uh, Xevious. And it's supposed to house quite a few uh, games, actually. Oh, well. Okay, so this is Famical Parodic. But let's move on. Now, the Fantasy Zone series, I mean, everybody knows these from, uh, from the Sega Master System, which is actually very close in hardware specifics, uh, specifications. Released by Sega. Okay, let's let's go to I have Fantasy Zone 2 as well, so let's go check that out. Okay, so here we have the sequel of Fantasy Zone. The Tears of Opa Opa. Opa Opa is the avatar that you're flying around with. Smooth scrolling. Whoops. And I die. Okay, let's move on and check out another game. Okay, Galactions. Also a very nice port. <laughs> okay, this is what Galactions look like, looks like on the MSX. Now, Galforce. Galforce is a vertical shmup released by Sony and HAL. Um, it's... Uh, Japanese anime based and it's supposed to be really good okay sine wave approach of the enemies
I mean, oh gosh, are these ships inhabited by the devil or something? They're glowing like... Okay, so I have to destroy that. Whoops. Hmm. It's quite an impressive shmup. No smooth scrolling, but... Let's move on. Okay, girly block. Girly blocks. Block. This looks like a compile shear, but is it? Mech mecha battle. Yeah, okay, let's try another game. Well, the Gradius Nemesis series, we all know these. They don't need any introduction. Nemesis. More Gradius. Shame that this is an MSX One game, but, but still, pretty decent graphics and very playable. Whoops. And then we have Gradius Two, also made by Konami. Still an MSX One game. Nemesis Two. It's a great, great title, intro, sequence, music, great music. This is actually a cartridge. The M61 version also features enhanced music for the MSX. Gyrodyne. It's a rather late game, 1986. Yeah, title. Smooth scrolling. A helicopter. I've, I've played this game on the uh, on the SNES actually, not so much on the uh, on the MSX. Beating sound is annoying the heck out of me. Whoops, okay. Okay. Hadeshu no Muncha by Casio. Hadeshu no Muncha. And it's actually a Hadeshu no Muncha. And it's actually a vertical shooting game vertical scroll just shoot these bastards make 
sure I get enough air. Okay, so a lot of annoying beeps, but this is actually quite an enjoyable game. Okay, let's move on. Okay, another one. Hinnottori by Konami. Hinatori by Konami. Very nice graphics. Let's play this game. Okay, so you're this person that throws. Oh, it's a difficult game, but it's very nice. I love the music. No idea what this says, but okay, very difficult, and very much worth checking out. Hi, you two. Uh, We'll be playing these tonight, these uh, Genesis and Mega Drive shmups. Uh, but I will be playing some more MSX games. So uh, let's go. Hikari <laughs> Warriors. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well, this is what Ikari Warriors looks looks like. Jagur by Hudson and Compile. Should be a nice shooter. I mean, anything that's been made by uh, Compile is okay. Okay, so this is a bit like an RPG, Commando, and... Junk. <laughs> ah, I can get some money. Okay, junk. Get some uh, armor and stuff. Okay. Do you know first? Kind of a Galaga like game, I guess. The Sony hit bit. Man, this looks like uh, <laughs> this looks like a uh, ColecoVision uh, start screen. Okay, well, let's move on. Macross, um, based on anime. But perhaps it's good. Buff attack. Hmm. The attack patterns are quite interesting. Noise to hell out of me. <laughs> and this is no sh uh, shmup, but I just love this game. Foils well. It's basically a Pac Man like game. Where you have to eat all the dots and 
Don't let your pipeline get touched by the nasties. You can always eat the nasties, but not that specific one. That can touch your pipeline. It will kill you. It will kill you if you if you uh, Okay, let's move on. Now you guys might find this quite interesting, as this is a version of Parodius on the MSX. Yes, Parodius was out on the MSX as well. Let's play as the baby. This is quite different from the versions found on the other platforms. But of course, fish will jump out of the ocean. But there's no syringes or... <coughs> Whoops, okay, but it's a nice game. Pipples. Pipples is also a... Uh, Konami shoot him up. I'll be a bit on the cute side. Shoot the ghosts, <laughs> and then and and eat the fruit and uh, get to the uh, get to the end of the maze. to the money. Whoops. Okay, well, this is quite a late uh, MSX game. It's from 1990. Konami. Quart. Puzzle combined with uh, Shmup. like it a lot. It's, this is it's very addictive. As you can see, I've played this before. Let's move on. Of course, there's an R-Type on the MSX2. Sadly, it is MSX1, so the graphics are... <laughs> I leave a bit to be desired. Still a good game, though. I think the uh, Sega Master System version is better. Still not a bad version. The very small game graphics. I mean, the screen is huge compared to the avatars. Anyways, let's move on. Another great uh, Nemesis Gradius uh, game in the series, Salamander. It's an MSX1 game, but uses color in a very smart way, so it really looks very nice. <laughs> Whoops. This game features big, big 
big graphics, very nice, great music. It's tough though. Scarlet 7 is also a shmup, horizontal shmup, and it's supposed to have very, very nice music, so let's crank up the volume a little. Flickering sprites. Well, you don't see that very often. You have to fly to the left. I'm not sure about the music though. Okay, let's move on. Sky on, Scion. It's uh, made by Sony. It's an arcade conversion. And it's actually quite decent. Whoops, okay, let's move on. Scramble Formation. It's uh, made by Taito in 1987. And it's supposed to be really good. No, it's not good. Sprite flickering. Oops. Not sure what to think of this. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Scramble eggs. This is supposed to be a shmup as well. Uh, okay. Right. Uh, it's bad. Let's move on. Skeet Commander. <laughs> I think it's Sky Commander, but... They probably misspelled. Around uh, zero zero one start. Okay. For the time, this must have been uh, quite a, a nice thing. A, a bit reminiscent of uh, of a target adventure, I guess. Okay, let's move on. Okay, moving to part four of the MSX Schmups. I've been reformatting my discs and pulling out the old cartridges from the loft, and uh, I'm going to show you some more Schmups uh, and perhaps even some other games that are my favorites. Um, mind you, this, these are not all the shmups that are available on the MSX system. It's just uh, the, the games that I own. And um, yeah, uh, just take a look. Sky Jaguar. Konami, made in 1984. This is a cartridge. Let's press the space key. So some of these games feature smooth scrolling and some don't. The uh, MSX did not support hardware smooth scroll, but for some reason quite a few of the, uh, the publishers managed to, to produce a smooth scroll, but this 
This is kind of a tame shooter, though. Perhaps back in the day, this would have been very nice. But it's kind of tame. Let's let's move on. Space Invader. I'm not sure if I showed this before, but Space Invader. Uh, press select one or two players. Well, here we have Space Invaders. Oh, it uses only the keyboard. It's a shame. It's really weird because you could use the joystick for selecting, but okay. Well, some some of these games are just okay. Let's move on because this is just Space Invaders. Now this is an amazing game, Spaceman Bow, created by Konami. It's a horizontal shmup. Uh, it was made in 1989, and it's an MSX2 only, so it's not playable on the other systems. Um, for a lot of people, this is cons this is the best shooter on the MSX system. Uh, and I happen to agree with them. It features an amazing intro sequence, and this is definitely a cartridge that you wanna that you wanna own. Okay, I'll just skip the. Uh, show a little bit more. I just love the way this Saturn-like uh, planet is visible. Big explosions. Of course, this game also has an anime team, as, as do many other games on the MSX. Great sounding tune. Okay, let's. You, you guys really have to see the uh, the, inf the introduction, but let's go. Press space. It's a very fast playing game. It's uh, it's made by Konami, but it could easily have been from Compile because plays like a compile game. And again smooth scrolling, which is quite rare for Konami games because Konami tends tended to use the character the easier to program character scrolling. This game is simply amazing. It's really a game that you have to use your memory for because playing through certain parts for the first time will just destroy you. And even and even if you played it more, then it still destroys you. You lose all weapons if you get destroyed. That's a shame. Get some speed. The sound is just simply amazing. Okay. So I'm more or less back to where I was. But you really need your extras. Otherwise you're just gonna be toast in this game. The wide shot. Ah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Um, let's move on. 
and here we have a game called Space Maze Attack, produced by HAL Laboratories. And uh, huh. it's not running. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Space Trouble, also created by HAL Laboratories, and it's a rather simple game. Is, uh, made, it has been made in 1984. Let's go check it out. Space Trump. So I guess these are power ups. Okay, so this is a very simple. Very simple game. So I guess you have to pick up the squares because that's your fuel. Oh well, a game with fuel, a nice simple space shooter. Let's move on. Okay, the game Star Blazer. 1982. That's even before the uh, MSX standard was officially out there. So I'm not sure. It probably or, uh, originated on some other platform, but 1982? That's amazing. It's old. So it's a bit like Defender, I think. So I have to bomb. Bomb the radar. Okay, let's bomb the radar. I think those are the radars. Whoops. Okay, let's bomb the radar. Or not. Well, ah, let's bomb the radar. So, ah, there it is. So you got enemy ships. These, these bombs look very nice. So let's find the radar then. Ah, I bombed the radar. So the mission is complete. Attack the tank. For a game that has been programmed in 1982, this is actually quite an advanced game. Yeah, the okay. I have no bombs anymore. Okay, let's move on. Okay, Star Force by Hudson Soft. And we know this. <laughs> we know this from from the NES. And it plays just as good. The scrolling is a bit coarse, but it's just but it's just like you would find it on the on the NES. Whoops, okay, let's move on. Okay, this is Star Soldier, made by Hudson. So this is the first game, which is also found on the NES. A shame no others in the series was released on the MSX. Very much like compile shooters. Okay, let's let's move on. This is called Starship Simulator. And I'm not sure what it does. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm very impatient. ASCII Corporation presents Starship Simulator. 
my space bar. Nope. Press enter. Return. Well, I have no patience for this. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, this is Supra Cobra by Konami. And it's an arcade conversion. Uh, press 1. <laughs> this is just like an, uh, a ColecoVision game. So nice. Scramble like. So I guess I have to have fuel as well. Yeah, this is just this is scramble. Okay, scramble on the MSX. Well, let's move on. Okay, this one is called Super Lada Mission Striker. From uh, T and E Soft. Laydock Super Mission Striker. Very nice title screen. With some digital sounds. Okay. New Mark Load. Oh. Password error. This is only new uh, mark two. This is just a two player game. Player one select joystick, player two select keyboard. Game starts. One player. That's really weird. <laughs> you have to put in two uh, players. <laughs> Very nice intro sequence. This is actually an MSX1 game. So yeah, let's go check it out. Play it out. Very nice animated enemies. A lot of these shooters were like this, scrolling star shield and just randomly dropping down enemies. Hmm, they're shooting back. Okay, let's move on. Welcome to part 5 of the, uh, the, the MSX uh, Shmup series. Uh, in this uh, in series, in this video, I will show you some compile shooters and show you uh, Time Pilot, Xevious, Xanax, and ZenXX, both compile shooters. Let's go take a look. Fexter. It's uh, made in 1985. And it's a running and shooting game. Very famous back in the day. Not very good at it. Okay, that's Thaxter. Now, this is a very cool conversion, which is also to be found on the ColecoVision Time Pilot. And this is made in 1983, and this looks very much like the uh, ColecoVision game. I love this uh, in the arcades. Play this a lot on my Commodore 64. Not a bad version, but it's tough. It's a shame they didn't make gyrus on the uh, 
MSX. Not that I know of, actually, but... Okay, let's move on. Topple zip. And topple zip, this is actually the MSX2 version. It's quite a cute uh, vertical shooter. Let's go check it out. It's a bit like uh, Twin B. So this was made in 1987. Oops. Okay. Let's go check out the MSX-1 version. So this is actually the MSX-1 code. Zip 1986, one year earlier. So it's a bit simpler. So you can see the difference. I prefer the MSX2 version actually, but you can see the difference. Of course, there, there's no MSX without Twinbee. Also found on the NES. It's not too bad a version. As you can see, this is MSX1 graphics. Oops. But the music is very recognizable. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is called Volgard by DBSoft, and it is from 1985. Mission 1. Okay, I just... I don't get this high score thing. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. Okay, this is called Xevious. Namco. And this is MSX2 material. So as you can see that the uh, MSX2 version is actually very close to the arcade original. Smooth scrolling again. Okay, let's see if I have some other schnapps. Of course we have Xanax. 
by compile. I may have shown it already, but Xanax. Whoops. I love this shooter. Okay, so this is Xanax. Very closely related to the LS series. Very nice. It's a very nice shooter. So this is very much like a last. But there's another version. Let's go check that out. This version is called Xanax X. And this is much more like a last. EX. Okay, let's go check this out. Smooth scrolling. Power ups. Oops. Nice little shield. And it's a tough game. As you can see. But it's great. <laughs> okay. Of course, we have Zaxxon on the MSX. It's a very cool game. This version is actually quite good. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I suck at this. Okay, let's move on. I think Zexus was quite a nice shooter as well. I'm not sure of it. One player. Nice animation. <laughs> I just hate this sound. So this is sort of a 3D game. As close to Gyrus as you can get, I guess. <laughs> Horrible sound effects. Zoids. I've forgotten what. what type of game this was. I think it was an adventure or something. Start. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is out of my league. River Aid. That's also a classic you can find on the MSX. Oh, it's uh, keys only. Is it? 
I hope not. <laughs> no. Nah. Again, smooth scrolling. Quite a decent version of the River Aid. Okay, let's move on. Hi YouTube, Mark here. This is the final part, part 6, the non-shmup version of the shmups on MSX series. Uh, whilst going through all these shmups and sorting through all my games, I thought it would be nice to just uh, show you guys some extra games that I thought would, uh, would, um, would be nice to show. Uh, for example, Outrun on the MSX and uh, some other games. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid series. Uh, I couldn't get Metal Gear Solid 1 to work, Metal Gear to work, but Metal Gear Solid uh, I got to boot. And um, yeah, it's quite funny to see uh, the, the game, the original game that the PlayStation franchise actually uh, sprung off from. Um, yeah, I'm gonna quit making uh, more MSX videos now. I guess you guys are going to be sick of it. Uh, at least I am, for now. Um, more videos on MSX games will probably be reviews or uh, requests. And uh, So if you guys have a request for, for a specific MSX game and you want to see more of it, uh, just give me a... Let me know, give me a PM or anything or something, and I'll see what I can do. Mark signing off, oh, not signing off, just you go watch the video and then I'll sign off. And uh, yeah, perhaps you should consider checking out some more shmups in other games, shmups in other games, other systems. Well, let's see. The Rastan Saga. Space. Okay. So the sprites of the opponents are rather limited. It's single color, which is a shame. I guess they had to. Uh, Okay, well, we know the game. Let's move on. Now, this game, Antarctic Adventure, this is no shooters anymore. I'm just going to go over some of the nicer games on the MSX. This is just like the ColecoVision version. This is actually one of the first games I saw on the MSX back in the day. And I was just amazed by the... Uh, by the 3D effect and the smoothness of the animation. Whoops, okay, let's move on. Lagger. I think this originated in the United Kingdom. And um, Lagger really was a very nice game. Pixel perfect platform. Amazing stuff. And you die. And you die. And you die. It's really weird. Tough, but very good. Of course, you can always also find Bruce Lee on the MSX. And a forest start game. So this is basically exactly like the uh, Commodore 64 version. Love this game. Whoops. Okay, let's do the wrestler. Just jump up because I'm not going to find those. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay. 
Now, this version of the game, Bubble Bubble, on the MSX, is actually quite good. Very close to the arcade, I guess. version on the MSX. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this is another great game on the MSX. Burger Time. It's all there. Whoops. <laughs> okay, it's tough. Let's move on. There's also a version of Dig Dog on the MSX. And these these games just don't seem to function very well. These Nancock games, they all crap up the screen. Okay, this is not. This game is called Eggerland, and it is also found on the NES, but it has a different name. And this Eggerland mystery is a huge has been a huge hit uh, in the Netherlands and in Brazil and a lot of people have been creating extra levels for it actually there's a construction option building so people can actually uh, okay people can actually uh, create their own it's a puzzle maze game and you have to go to the end of the door, but let's move on. Another classic on the MSX is Elevator Action by Taito. And this crap simple. So, oh, yeah, my capture card doesn't like this. Whoops. Okay, this is a great game. It's Japanese, Gavalius, Gavalius Maze. It's, sh it's a shame that it is in Japanese, but a great game. Okay, let's move on. Of course, the MSX also has a version of Hero, which which computer game doesn't have a didn't have a version of Hero. I mean, everybody had a version of Hero. Great game. And now something special. Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid is it has actually originated on the MSX. And I think I have to blow the card. Hold on. Okay, well, I couldn't get my Metal Gear cart to work. Um, Metal Gear Solid. Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid actually originated on the MSX. And this is actually the game where all the PlayStation games spun up from. It's a very nice game. Very nice introduction. Very nice music. A 
Okay, let's let's move on because I want to show you a little bit about the gameplay. Solid Snake. Will you arrive? You have to sneak up on the enemy, so you arrive by boat or swim. And you have to crawl around without getting detected and stuff. Okay, you get a call from your from your uh, boss. They tell you what to do. Some fanboys actually have created a translation for it, but so you have to sneak by without being detected. And the detection, these guys must have been blind because you just walk around undetected, just in clear clear sight. But the whole principle of the game, being able to walk around and sneak up on enemies and avoid being detected. That was the whole big thing back in the day. And this was a very hugely popular game back in the day. And it was not released in the West, to my knowledge. And we all imported the, the game from Japan. And it was just amazing. Okay, let's, let's stop. Okay, the game of Nightshade on the MSX. Let's go for joystick and start the game. Isometric. These these type of games were very nice. I used to love those. Okay. Very nice game. You guys won't believe it, but there was actually a version of OutRun on the MSX, too. Everybody wanted to play this game also on the MSX, but as you can see, it bears re little resemblance, re resemblance to what you can find on the Sega Master System or any other 8-bitter. I don't think it's a pretty good version, so I'll just stop here. Pathfinder. That was a great game as well. I think. Let me see. Right, continue. Continue. Smooth scrolling as well. Oh man, I always find found this game very difficult. Well, this. This concludes all my games that I want to show on the MSX. There's tons more, but I'll just stop here because if I continue, I will just be very sick of the system. <laughs> I want to I want to be able to play some more in the future. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this little series and be with you back soon with another type of video. Bye bye. Yeah.